Today we're going to be dividing fractions and mixed numbers. So if you could just take a second and write the title down. And then we're going to start with the steps, which I believe you're already familiar with. Make sure to pause anytime you feel like you need to catch up with the writing. Okay, so the first step is exactly the same as multiplying fractions. You're going to write both fractions in A over B form. So that means we cannot have mixed numbers or even whole numbers when we're dividing fractions. The second step is the new step um, from the change to multiplication. Sorry, the second step is the step we're adding from our steps from multiplication. We don't actually divide fractions. We are going to change it to a multiplication problem and then take the reciprocal of the number you are dividing by. Remember, a reciprocal is when you take a fraction like two-thirds and flip it over. So the reciprocal of two-thirds is three over two. The toughest ones we see is if you're asked to take the reciprocal of a whole number. So say, for example, you have the number five. You have to remember that five as a fraction is five over one. So the reciprocal of five over one or five would be one-fifth. You have to remember that. That's the toughest part. The last three steps, then, are exactly the same steps as when you multiply. After you've taken the reciprocal, you're going to simplify vertically and diagonally. You will multiply across, and then you're going to make sure that it's completely reduced. Lowest terms, just in case you mixed something, missed something when you were simplifying in step three or changing improper fractions to mixed numbers. So step two is really the only new step for dividing fractions. Let's try an example. Okay, let's try four and one-fifth divided by two and three-sixths. Step one says to put them in A over B form. So five times four is 20, plus one is 21. Fifths divided by 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15 sixths. Please write this step. Don't go quickly past step 2 right away. Make sure we're writing this as it is. People are very tempted at this point to simplify the 5 and the 15. I need you to remember that you cannot simplify in division. You must change it to multiplication first. Okay, so, again, that's what I'm saying. Don't be tempted to simplify that 5 and 15. So we're going to do step 2. You keep the first fraction exactly the same, so it stays 21 over 5. You change it to multiplication, and then the reciprocal of 15 over 6 is 6 over 15. Now we're looking to simplify. So I look at my 5 and 6. There's nothing I can do. I look at 21 and 15, and I know that 3 goes into both of them. 3 goes into 21 7 times. 3 goes into 15 5 times. I check my ups and downs. I have 7 and 5. Can't do anything there. I have 6 and 5. Can't do anything there. So I am going to multiply across. 7 times 6 is 42. 5 times 5 is 25. At this point, I check if I'm completely simplified. I see that I have an improper fraction. 
I know 25 goes into 42 one time. There are 17 left over out of 25. And I see that I cannot simplify 17 25ths. So my final answer is 1 and 17 25ths. Okay, so we are going to do that again. But this time I want to do this with a whole number in it. Okay, so let's do one more example. Okay, let's do 3 and 2 fourths divided by 7. We're going to start by changing 3 and 2 fourths, both of them, to A over B form. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, so I have 14 fourths. And 7 is a whole number. 7 over 1 is a fraction, A over B form, so I change it to 7 over 1. Still a division problem because I'm still in step 1. Step 2 then says to keep the first one the same, change it to multiplication, and take the reciprocal of the number you're dividing by. So I was dividing by 7. The reciprocal of 7 is 1 over 7. I'm going to simplify 1 and 4. Can't simplify. 14 and 7, I see 7 goes into 7 one time. 7 goes into 14 two times. I check my verticals, my ups and downs. I have 2 and 4, and I can simplify that. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 4 twice. I see I have 1 and 2 left, uh, and I can not simplify that. And the other side was just 1 and 1, so there isn't anything you can do there. So when I'm looking at what I'm actually multiplying, I have this 1 times 1, which equals 1, and this 2 times 1, which equals 2. And what I have left is 1 half. It's not improper. Can't do anything there. And because I did the simplifying vertically and diagonally, there's no simplifying. So the answer is one half. So now that you have all these notes written down, I'd like you to go to the practice problems and try it on your own. Good luck.